Hello everyone, it's Matt Long with DND Gunsmiths. I'm here to talk about a couple tips and tricks that we found make the Rock Island VR80 run very reliably. Um, very first thing would be replace your aluminum slug buffer with the three-piece Tacom dual spring buffer. The very next thing is the magazines. Should you choose to run high capacity magazines, the very first thing that we recommend is to clean them out. We use QD electric cleaner or any other quick drying solvent to get the, pack, the Turkish packing grease out of it. Wipe everything down, re-lubricate it with dry silicone. This will help keep the dust out of it and if dust does get in it, it won't stick. The very next thing is, uh, if you ever had any trouble loading the mag to full capacity, just no matter what you can, no matter what you do, you can't get the thing full. Loosen the clamp, load the magazine to full capacity, let the spring and follower find its home, retighten the clamp. It won't give you any more trouble. The very next thing, and this is the key part that we had found, is drilling all three gas holes out. Uh, we found it's key to drill all three is to not put any angled push on the piston. But you'll want to take each hole and write this down to 116 thousandths, or a number 32 drill bit. Some things to consider when drilling this are to match the same angle that the holes are drilled at from the factory with the new drill bit. The second thing is to look down the barrel and thoroughly inspect it for any burrs that you might have left behind. If you don't see any burrs and you're starting to get any beanie baby looking clear plastic shavings building up in the gas system here, that means that there's a burr that's shaving the wadding as it's passing through and you'll need to address it. The easiest way we had found for these small burrs is to take some very fine steel wool on the end of a cleaning rod and only hit the burr that's sticking up. Uh, very, very gently and it won't give you any problems either. I have now gotten mine to run everything from the Winchester White Box, Wally World Special, 7 8 ounce, 1300 foot per second low recoil JM slugs, Wally World, 3 Dram Federal 100 Pack Special, and my favorite is the Winchester Double A. And it has nothing to do with the velocity or that it works the comp for better or anything like that. It has everything to do with the hull. And what we had found is, is that the Double A hull is much better than any hull used on the you know, standard Winchester or Federal uh, bulk pack stuff. If you push your thumb into them, you can feel that the standard hulls will deflect a little bit whereas the Winchester AA hull does not. And if you think about how much pressure that these things are under in this magazine, sitting in the sun or sitting out all day or just loading them in general, you could deform this shell and cause feeding issues. We had found if we're shooting a match that we really, really like, we run these just to be safe. But again, not knocking these shells at all, they run just fine. So these are just some basic things that I would do right out of the box to it. Um, very cheap, very easy, just some simple maintenance. So good luck.